Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Harriger. I'm the medical director at The Body Well, and today I'm gonna to instruct you on how to do a subcutaneous injection with a pre-mixed medication. Oftentimes, our medications that we prescribe uh, come in pre-mixed form. That means that they come in a vial uh, with liquid in it and the medication, okay? Usually, those medications will arrive on ice or refrigerated. Um, they last longer if you keep them in the refrigerator. With that being said, um, if you leave a medication out for a day or two at room temperature, they're usually fine. Uh, most of them up to seven days at room temperature are fine. So if you're traveling and you don't have ice packs to carry your medication with, just put the medication in your travel kit and your carry-on um, and uh, you're usually good to go. If you have any question, please call us and we'll verify that with you. But uh, that's the general rule surrounding this. Um, so as far as doing your injection goes, I've got my supplies here. Alcohol swab to clean the area where we're gonna do the injection. The insulin syringe, which we're gonna drop the medication and then inject with the same syringe. And then the pre-mixed medication in this vial. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the cap off of the medication, okay? You're gonna expose the rubber, the rubber stopper. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to uncap your insulin syringe. Now, insulin syringes, this is a one cc or one ml same thing or a hundred unit insulin syringe sometimes these will come in half this size you'll see we'll only go to the 50 mark for smaller ones um, uh, but most often they come in the one ml size okay so depending upon your dosage of the medication if your dosage is inject 0.3 mls and that's gonna to be to the three mark on the insulin syringe, okay, or the 30 mark. That's where you're gonna to wanna to draw up to when it comes to the medication. Or if you're 0.75, you're gonna to go to between the 0.7 and the 0.8 mark on here, okay? It's pretty clear. So for this medication, the dosage is to inject 0.7 mLs. So what I like to do is drop that much air into the syringe first off, and then at a 90 degree angle, put the needle tip into the medication, inject that air into the medication, okay? Creates a little bit of a vacuum and it makes drawing the medication out much easier. See how easily that comes out now? And we're gonna go up to the seven mark, which is 0.7 mLs, okay? Pull that out. And now we're ready to inject our medication. Again, this is a subcutaneous medication. This can go in the belly, it can go in the arm, can go in the thigh. It just really needs to go beneath the skin. Today, we're gonna to do it in the arm. You're gonna to wanna to clean this area with some alcohol first, just to keep the site of injection nice and clean. Let that alcohol dry for a few seconds so it doesn't burn when we inject. And then just like a dart, right underneath the skin, Push the plunger down, inject your medication. Usually I like to count five, four, three, two, one after an injection, just so all the medication is absorbed. Pull the needle out and that's it. So now that your injection's done, you're gonna to wanna to dispose of your needle. I don't recommend recapping needles because you, there's always a risk for stabbing yourself if you do that. But you're gonna to wanna to discard the needle in your sharps container, uh, which either you've been provided with when you picked up the medication, or you can pick one up in a local pharmacy, okay? Uh, and that's it. For more information on hormonal optimization or age management or anything else that we do, uh, please visit our website at thebodywellusa.com or call the office at 323-874-9355 and speak to one of our team members. Thanks.